Hey, so welcome back friends. I've known for a while that dust collection to my miter saw has been inadequate, but I think I found a solution and today I'm going to share it with you. If you're new here, my name is Jim and I'm the creator of the Lasting Build channel. I'm a hobby woodworker and carpenter. I make weekly videos intended to help you improve your skills and inspire that next project. So what I've got here is the Rosea 5000 dust solution for the miter saw. It, according to the package, will fit any 10 inch miter saw. I haven't even opened it yet, saving it for the video. It appears to be mostly assembled already. I pulled this out of the package. It comes in a nice case here, and then it's got an owner's manual and some hardware. It's also set up to be connected to a four inch dust hose in comparison to the two inch I have now. This is my current setup. I have a two and a quarter inch hose that connects to the back of the DeWalt slotting miter saw. Actually, it tapers down to much less than two inches. That's probably closer to an inch at the insert to the saw. So as always, I'll be sure to put a link in the description for you so if you wanna check out this product. So the instructions only have four steps. These brackets, there's four of them in the package, are to be attached together like this. So let me get these attached, then we'll move on to the next step. So I got those brackets put together and now I need to attach those to the miter saw and that is what will hold the dust hood to the saw. So I use the DeWalt sliding uh, miter saw, it's the FlexVolt saw and I have the stand that is made for the saw. I was looking at the mobile stand there's already some places where I can probably bolt the dust collection hood to. If I attach the hood here I think it will be out of the way of any material that I'm cutting on the saw and that will also allow the saw to turn 45 degrees in each direction. So I've just got those nuts hand tightened. I'm gonna wait and get everything set up and get everything mounted to the saw before I tighten it down just in case I need to move it around some. So if I have the brackets attached to the miter saw stand correctly, the dust hood should be able to slide right into the, the brackets and then just tighten down with the knobs. It fits the, uh, the miter saw stand really perfectly. It's almost like it was made for this miter stand. So the dust port is down low and I need to get some four inch uh, dust collection hosing and attach it here. I just barely have enough dust collection hosing left over from when I built my dust collection system. I think that we'll have enough to finish up this project. You can see by what's coming out of the hose how poor the dust collection system was working before. The, the dust that's in there is just really caked in there. And there just wasn't enough air movement to pull that, uh, to, to pull all that dust from the miter saw. I'm really not sure why I didn't connect this before I put the hood on. It's making it a lot more difficult than it should be. Oftentimes you have to cut the hose to get it to go over the piping. I'm unfortunately out of my four inch clamps. I'll have to order one 
It's on there really tight though. I think it'll stay until I get my clamp. So that definitely wasn't the most graceful installation in the world, but let me go ahead and give you a close up look at this. So the Rousseau 5000 is made out of almost a tent like material. It's got some metal webbing inside of it that keeps it, uh, keeps it sort of inflated and it's mounted to the, uh, to the stand with some really nice hardware. It fits my saw really perfectly so I can go back and forth without hitting the dust hood. I can also turn in both directions without hitting the hood as well. And then when I open up the saw, it stops just in front of the hood. I have the hood attached where it really starts right at the edge of the fence on both sides of the saw. Okay guys, so just because it fits on the saw well doesn't mean it works well, so let's give it a try. So what are my thoughts after cutting this two by four? It's doing a really good job containing the dust in the, uh, in the dust chamber here. It is sucking up some dust. I was watching as the dust went into the suction hose and was kind of, you know, uh, moving away from the tent here. It's not, uh, it's not perfect. It's not, it's not like it's enough airflow just to be sucking a lot of that dust straight through, but it's way better than what I had before. Before when I would cut with my miter saw, it would make almost a, uh, uh, like a, a cloud, a cloud of uh, sawdust over here, and oftentimes when I'm filming, I'd have to kind of take a break from filming because it was so dusty. So this is way better than what it was before. I'm not seeing any dust in the air around the miter saw, and it seems like most of it's getting contained within the tent. Would I like to have a really nice miter saw station like a lot of uh, YouTubers you see have? Sure, I'd love to have one of those. I just don't feel like I have the room for it right now. I think that this is gonna be just fine for a while until I have a bigger shop. So I think this was around $159 on Amazon. Um, sure, you could, you could build something uh, similar to this, but I, I doubt you could build anything much cheaper than $150, and it certainly, it certainly does what it's supposed to do. So to be fair to this product, I'm using only a one horsepower dust collector, and it's all the way on the other corner of the shop. There is a lot of dust collection piping that it has to go through to get all the way over there to my closet. So in closing, I think it's money well spent, $159 on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. It's gonna allow me to film more efficiently now because I don't have to take breaks in between cutting with a miter saw because of that cloud of, cloud of uh, dust. If you'd like to see a tour of my shop or my dust collection system, I will put a link to those now and I'll see you guys there.